going to take a look at the trades on the day. NASDAQ futures rolling over a little bit here. Look like they could possibly take out Friday's low at 1130. I thought this was a false propping. And we continue to see false propping. There's only been two days. Let's go to the daily where there have been more more than two consecutive days since the since this high up here where there's been more than two consecutive higher lows you see right here there are two higher lows but every other at least every day or every other day was taken out the previous day's low so you see that um, downtrend pattern happening here in the nasdaq futures so something to watch as interest rates continue to move higher Bonds, 30-year, 156.23, uh, advanced decline line, making uh, you know big extreme moves. Uh, staying up here in the plus 1500 area, the Dow and the S&P are stronger than the Nasdaq. Uh, ticks are you know down at minus 11.95 again today. So trending down. VIX is slow to rise because it's, the sell-off is mainly in the Nasdaq right now. Let's look at the trades on the day. I want to go over the highlights in general. The SR counter trend pattern was one of the uh, more challenging patterns in the last part of 2020 and it is coming back in a strong way this year we see profits in SR countertrend silver SR countertrend 2v21m 5m and 15m all hitting their 575 dollar profit targets today uh, we also see that in um, nasdaq let's look at the nasdaq SR countertrend v2m 1m 5m and 15m as well as the SR Counter Trend 2, 575, 575, 575, plus 775. So SR Counter Trend 2s, 3s, um, and 4s are the top pattern this year, trading a multi market setup. In crude oil, it is down. Crude oil has been on, on a streak. Uh, we had a consecutive winning streak in SR Counter Trend 3 crude oil. It had a loss today, so down today for the first time in a while, minus 825. And so we're just going to go over all the trades on the day, starting with the ES. And we take a look at adaptive moving average. It's short. Uh, had a huge day on Friday. These wide swings uh, are ideal for adaptive moving average. So if this market continues to sell off, adaptive moving average will catch up. And it is short currently, minus, two, eight, minus 300 on the day. And we have tick pullback, plus 50 on the day. Uh, markets just rolling over. It's also a sell on the news type of event with the stimulus package. Uh, the market has waited for monetary and fiscal stimulus since the start of the pandemic, and it has had massive monetary stimulus. Now it has received, looks like it's going to receive a 1.9 trillion fiscal stimulus. And so now that the market's received everything it's expected to receive, it could be selling on the news now uh, as the market's gone up, gone up and up and up. Waiting for the stimulus, and now that we have it, sell on the news, and that's one of the things we could be seeing as well. 60-minute breakout short, minus 625. Night Trader was down, minus 1525 on the day, and stopped out near the lows. It's always always hated when that happens. Um, and so, I'll show you access in Q. SR counter trends, like we said, were huge. SR counter trends are just having a, just calling this market uh, really well this year overall so far. SR Country 2 VTM 1M, 5M, and 15M, all plus 575. SR Country 2 plus 775, AT 2020, minus 725, tick count trend in Q, minus 1250, tick pulse V12, minus 625. 60 minute breakout, minus 1025, stock index swing, minus 1025. NASDAQ is hard overall. The SR Country trends did well, but NASDAQ overall is difficult, uh, just wide ranging. Uh, wide ranging point values uh, minus 1300 in gap continuation 2019 with a $300 stop loss. Not trading this. A lot of these we're not trading right now anyway, so we're still monitoring them. Uh, gap continuation big stop loss we are trading minus 730. Uh, VSD and Q minus 1065. Uh, Viper ES. This one has been on a streak uh, minus 625 today, last trade. Uh, looking to phase in this strategy potentially. I've added a volatility filter to it as well. Let's look at the his history of this. So I've added the volatility filter so it has a better performance. And you see it has a nice pullback here to time and get into in Viper 2008. Uh, 5165 average trade profit with slippage and commission. The uh, last uh, 2021, about $150 average trade profit in 2021 so far. So good trading in Viper. 2008. Again, we're not trading this one, looking to phase it in potentially. 
uh, beta C, uh, tick wave minus 825, uh, no other trades today, oh, VSTES minus 362.50, um, gold, we have uh, Cobra Gold minus 45, Asia Gold 4 short minus, five, minus 525, Gold Flash plus 540, um, let's look at, um, so Asia Gold, there's, there's several trades here where just a slightly bigger stop loss would work because there is more volatility in gold than we're used to seeing. This does have good recent performance overall, but we see this trade, uh, this trade, this trade could have used a bigger stop loss. And we could use also, we could also work with bigger profit targets on these as well because the ranges are bigger. So that's something potential to look at. Um, not as many trades in gold today. Uh, silver, nice, nice trades in silver, plus 575 on all three of these. Esther Country, 2V2 and 1M, 5M and 15M. Uh, VSD, long and short. This one is the trade of the day. This one, like we've talked about before, it just it just jumps on and stays with it. So it didn't get out. It took it all back here. It was up um, plus 53.40, gave it all back, and now it's up 58.95. And so it stays short. Um, it went long and then reversed to short, and it stayed short the entire session. Crude oil, series of losers across the board after a winning streak, minus 825, minus 825, minus 825. Plus 475, minus 555, minus 825, minus 825. So Cobra Crude Aggressive uh, was also profitable, plus 355. So these two were the only ones that were profitable today. Crude Oil has been on a nice winning streak, so uh, it would make sense that it would have a down day to day. Natural Gas, no trades. Our Bob, we see um, plus 479. It's done well lately, too. Uh, Euro. Significant sell-off in the euro, down below 120 at 118.58, minus 175 on the day. Soybeans, day trade strategy, need a little bigger stop loss, minus 375. Um, but you see soybeans continue to move higher up here at 14.44 area. Exhaust and reverse. The VIX is slow to respond to these sell-offs, and so we're, we're getting dip buying even on down, down market. So minus 1,050, silver, no trades. Um, all strategy access, night trader VSD, no trades, uh, Cobra 3, no trades. So those are the trades on the day for Monday, March the 8th, 2021. Again, the highlights are the SR counter trends in the silver and the NASDAQ.